back at it again, everybody. Ooh. No, seriously though. I am so excited to check in with you guys. I am officially moved up here. I am busy. Fun things are happening. Look kind of crazy, but I had some extra time today. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a hydrating facial on myself today. And we're gonna see, check in how you guys are all doing. So first things first, we're gonna look at my crazy eyelash but Oh, I have to go grab a bowl of water. I'll be back. So tax season is here. It's gonna be my first year doing taxes with my business. So I'm excited to definitely learn and make sure that I'm doing everything correctly and create good habits, have write-offs, all that fun stuff. I've been saving up, organizing them month by month, what they are. So I'm excited to see where I can save money and what the best options for me are. It is winter here, it is snowing outside, and I've had kind of a crazy month. The first week I moved up here, we got sick. Second week, the washer machine and dryer we purchased, our first like nice washer machine and dryer that we purchased. The dryer is out, so I'm air drying everything. Going in with the Vital C hydrating cleanser are here so that went out the second week the third week I've like never put out my back and I put my back out so that was exciting it's been great it's been a good month but I am optimistic and things are gonna keep moving forward for sure mm, this feels really good I think I've definitely been overdoing it with my skin so definitely coming in with this hydrating facial to help with it here i just started my tattoo internship i announced it this last week i was like you know what i'm just gonna announce it you should definitely be excited about your endeavors i started a tattoo internship i'm learning microblading I'm gonna be learning permanent eyeliner i'm gonna be learning freckles as well as lip flushing and i think i'm really gonna enjoy it i know it's been around for a while but we're from missouri so People are just now kind of figuring out what microblading is. I think it's a good time to definitely get in here and start doing it. And there's enough eyebrows for everybody. Skin is naturally sensitive, so it's definitely fun to try to find a balance for me. So I started my tattoo internship, so I'm driving to Kansas City every Friday, coming in with the Ormetic Balancing Facial Cleanser. So I'm going to Kansas City every Friday, so yay, driving more, right? It's not bad, because it's only once a week. And now that I live in town, I'm able to go like let my dogs out, hang out at my house and do things do laundry clean and all that fun stuff i'm gonna start getting into working out again definitely gotten a little fluffy it's okay because i'm happy and excited to keep moving forward here i have already microbladed a few models and it's nerve-wracking for sure i'm a perfectionist it's really hard not to be your worst critic especially when it comes to you learning something new i'm just excited that i have the opportunity to learn and have an outlet to be creative and have that opportunity to grow my business other than that i'm just gonna keep focusing on that and practicing and get really good at what i'm still doing i'm waxing a lot i'm offering a lot of facials i'm getting busier so i'm really excited about that definitely just excited to be more involved with the community here all right i'm coming in with the stem cell max mask i am currently using two booking systems so i had a mess up and rescheduled somebody yesterday and forgot to take it off the schedule and then totally didn't register it so i had it all set up for the facial and then realized there was no reason for me to do that so then guess what that means facial on me which is so important self-care is so important which we forget when we start to get busy when i first started this business adventure i had enough time to really focus on me and my skin but as i've gotten busier it's been really easy to not focus on myself and you know that's not why i went into business i went into business so i could have control over my own schedule to enjoy what i'm doing but i'm trying to set those boundaries now and not overexert myself so i don't get burnt out really easily we're gonna buff my skin oh yeah i'm also really excited to keep working on online presence we start doing that more gonna set up some good places to work on that sometimes you just need a good space and it's been a while since i've had a comfortable space which is an excuse right sometimes it's nice to be able to have that control over your own space and create a nice environment that's gonna promote motivation and creation i'm also this year going to really focus on my goals and be proactive to just get into a better headspace mentally i'm probably gonna start 
therapy soon, so that's exciting. I really think that's important. It's hard for people to say that and be open, I think, and be vulnerable, but I'm excited to do that because we all have trauma and emotional damage that we should be working on. And I think the only way I'm gonna bring my best version every day to other people is if I work on myself too, mentally, physically, and emotionally. And I know a lot of people do like online therapy. So if you guys know any good therapists do like, let me know. Ugh, these towels feel so good. I also need a new steamer. I just have currently the steamer attached to the 12-in-1 machine. It makes it really hard. So it's nice to have a separate steamer so you can create more steam in different places. This one's nice. It does move a little bit, only to a certain extent. And I feel like with the other steamer, you can really angle it and find a nice placement for it. I really am excited to keep investing in trying out new stuff. But I'll see you soon. I'm putting on a little bit more, kind of like a mask, because I'm going to do some high frequency and making sure it glides. Which I know some people use like a 4x4 and put it over because it creates a space in between instead of being directly on the skin, so it oxidizes. And for the longest time, I didn't realize that's why. I thought it created a barrier to protect the skin, which I think that's why some people do it. I was reading in a forum the other day about how it helps to create that space because when you lift it, it creates more of an intensity and like shocks you know which I do sometimes on my own skin but when new people are newer to it it's a little too much I was like oh that makes total sense because it creates that space and it gives it a little bit more room to do its job some people I think believe in one thing and the other but I find both ways to be kind of interesting which I don't do that because I always thought it didn't create as much of an intensity but it makes sense to create more of that space space there i feel it it creates more of an intensity it's more direct but if i glide here you can still feel it it's not as intense so like having that four by four creates a little bit more space like that so then it's oxidizing and like working better so but then you can kind of like concentrate on that certain area where you're trying to get here see my scarring and stuff i feel like this year is being set up great I feel like so far there's been some speed bumps in the road, but I'm excited to see where we grow and keep moving forward. I have some goals written down. I'm going to have a plan set in place and just keep manifesting what I want. I like to check in with myself. One of my main goals this year, I've really been at a certain goal weight. I really want to work on that too, my physical fitness. I'm going to, by the end of this year, have the body that I want. It's not really that sunny outside. We should know by now, but that doesn't matter. We should still use sunscreen. I'm using the ultimate protection. We're going to go in and we're going to put it everywhere. Some things I want to upgrade with my business. I haven't given you guys a tour in a while, but it's... Pretty similar to what it's looked like. I've changed a few things. I'm ready to get a new bed. I feel like my bed, it moves up and down, which is awesome. I don't think it's wide enough. I bought one of those that have, it's also like the tattoo bed. as the arms and stuff, which is nice and it sits up. But it's just not like a massage bed where it's like wide. Oh, yeah. Coming in with the lip treatment. I also have extensions in right now, hair extensions. And I don't know why. I don't know if anybody else has this issue. I've had extensions another time and they curl. My hair is naturally straight. Literally, the extensions curl naturally. Like, someone told me all extensions do that. I don't want to straighten my hair every day. I like my hair to air dry. I wanted to do this to be healthy with my hair. So you're telling me I have to straighten and blow dry my hair every day? That's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. All right guys, I'm done. Did a quick quickie today. But yeah, so it's nice because my braids are thicker. So it's like, oh yeah, I have some hair. But I don't want my hair to curl. I want it to be straight. I like curly hair. I wish my hair curled. But the thing is, if you have curly hair and straight hair mixed in, it just is chaos. So I want to check in with you guys. Did a quick hydrating facial on myself today and I'm doing great. I'm gonna have a lot of plans coming up. Excited to keep doing my tattoo apprenticeship. Had some services to the menu coming forward. More things to come. So you guys have a great week and I will see you soon. And stay sassy.